So you want B-roll, but you don't know where to start. Either you're like me and you started off with a camcorder, or you probably started off with a DSLR camera. But let's say, what if you're starting off with an Osmo Pocket? And like most people, they usually have a phone. In today's video, we'll be comparing two things. The Zion Weeble S versus the DJI Osmo. What's this thing called again? I already forgot what it's called. The DJI Osmo Pocket. Now these are two different things. Yes, I know. But to be honest, do you really have $500 for this Zion Rebo S? Or do you have $279 for this DJI Osmo Mobile? That's a big factor already. 279 500 it might be a no-brainer for most especially if you're like me you don't got that kind of bread DJR small mobile now in this video I'll be talking about three things the setup interface usability and flexibility now in my case I got these two things at different times and I've got to play with it fairly I've been I've been using DJ Osmo mobile for about maybe two years and the Zion Rebuild I just got that about three months ago so I'm I have experience or so so with these um with these items now comparing these two things together first of all the Zion Weevil is huge. It is huge. And let me tell you, if this thing right here, like holding a, 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 a child, look at this, it's huge. Right now I have, uh, I have the EOS R and the RF50 on this Zion Weevil right now. Video coming up after this on how to balance the RF50 1.2. Look how huge he is, he's huge compared to the 24 to 105. I've seen it done on YouTube before, but the 50 mil is just heavier, just a beast. And I will do a, a video on that, which will be next right after this. Hopefully, I have it out by Wednesday. Now the setup, the setup and interface between these two things is like level one all the way to level ten. Level one on the on the DJ Osmo Mobile is super easy, super. Easy. I can't stress that enough. You can literally, it is literally just plug and play. It's it's you just open it up, boom boom boom. You're ready. You're ready. You're ready. It's super simple. Super. It's kind of dusty though. And I keep it in the case. I don't even know how it gets dusty. But anyways, it's super. It's super simple. Super simple. I might just put a little clip in there as well to show the interface and and, and all that. But the Zion, this thing, you really gotta watch some videos. You know what I mean, you gotta you gotta research and learn this to you. To their best ability because even before you start to use it you need to know how to balance this thing especially if you're like me like you're not a big i'm sorry i'm not a big kind of videographer photographer i said this in my last video i'm simply a hobbyist i love these things but i do it for a hobby i don't do it for a job I, I just do it for fun i like it it's an expensive hobby but i like it and the Zion Rebuild, Rebuild, there's a lot that goes behind it because it is, it's not necessarily like for the average amateur. Like you gotta know a little bit about these things before you even jump into it, you know? This, 
if you have a if you have an iPhone or whatever you use a uh, Samsung, this is like almost second nature. It's literally just plug and play, and that could be your downfall and that could be your advantage because you're not going to be necessarily getting all the manual settings a professional one because with the Weibo S now, you have two things. You gotta worry about the camera settings and also the settings on the Weibo and your balancing. So about three things versus just plug and play. For me to plug and play, I, I, I can look at the small, look at the profile. I can always keep this in my hand easily. Refocusing, yeah. We, I can easily just keep this in my pocket and just run and gun and do it. So the usability between these things are night and day. It is very much night and day. When I was trying to record something on this, like on this big, on this, like this, this is considered a big setup for this, for, for me at least. When I'm holding this thing, I can't seem to get that low, low angle I really want. Now I'm gonna probably put in a clip of me getting as low to this table as possible. Actually, I am gonna put in a clip of that. With this now, you can get as low as the table. Like literally, if the surface is here, you can be like this. With the Weibo, if the surface is here, you have to be like this much. And depending on how small the product is, like let's say it doesn't have to be a product, so it could be anything. But let's say it's a stupid man photo, uh, three, I think it's like a 3.5 thread. Imagine if it's like this on a table and your camera is like up here, you, go, you, gotta, you have to literally angle your camera down and go in at it like this which is fair it doesn't look it doesn't look good at, it doesn't look good at all it doesn't look good at all at least with this now i can literally go like this the angle is all it, it, there might be an angle but it won't be noticeable as this and sometimes what you see youtubers do is they will have to get like a zoom lens or maybe like an 85 maybe 85 mil prime and they'll have to come out of the table. So to, show, to put that into perspective, they will literally have to, let's just pretend it's on right now. They'll have to come all the way back here. Like see the tables right here? If this little thing is here, they'll have to be all the way back here like this and try to like get their horizon with the table to make it look like it's flat going straight in now it's possible it is possible but at the end of the day at the end of the day it's a lot of work if you're really trying to be fast you want to go with your dj osmo mobile fast and easy and the results are almost the same the, old, the, the, the big difference between these two is, really, is the quality of the video, of your B-roll. Because this is specifically B-roll, right? So, you have an expensive lens, you have a nice camera, and this is already $500. This setup, is it out of frame? This setup right here, $500. $2,400, $1,700. Can't do math, but that's a, it's more than $279. Tell you that right now. So the usability of these things is really A1. I love this. So it's so easy. It's so easy. Especially for like me, just starting out. Like, I, I, I'm doing it on purpose to do the extra work because if you do obviously if you do extra work, you can tell quality just goes with it. If you want to be good at something, you put in the time. Overall, you will see how how good the results are, rather than a, just like a point and shoot kind of camera. You know what I'm saying? Like the B-roll from 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 something like this, which is very high end in my in my case, 
it is night and day it's like the if you especially if you get like if you're all the way open at 1.2 and you especially if you like me like i want to do like these two things and i want them in like all right like an example like i have one two three maybe the stupid light for whatever reason now if i want to separate them but do a single b-roll sequence i can just slide the camera in like this like all this will be obviously blurred out like if you got like me I, my background is, is bad i was about to cuss but my background is very it's, it's boring it's boring this is what i have this is what i gotta work with so i'll be on that side and i'll just be, uh, just come in and you will you can tell the difference like it really singles out these 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 items now as with the osmo mobile if i do the same thing you're going to see the background you're going to see the discolored of my wooden sliding doors it won't look too good but if you have a location if you're outside there's some nice grass oh yeah you want to be you want to be you don't want that much aperture get everything in focus i'll do it especially from outside but if i'm inside and everything is not looking too nice pause I don't know why that happened. My light just shut off. I, I mean, it's not a video light. It's a, um, it's a photographer light, but I had it on prop, whatever prop means. I'm not sure how long that was on for, but maybe about 15 minutes. And uh, the last thing really is the, is the flexibility between these two things. The DJI Osmo Mobile, the Zion Weeble S, it's night and day. There's no, there's no competition between flexibility and usability. There really isn't. Like you could take this anywhere, but the only difference is you, you, you will probably will have to run in, run this with auto. The reason I say that is because accessing the settings on here with the small screen is kind of kind of toxic if you ask me because if you're like me you got big hands and trying to access this small little screen you know and like trying to just look at that dude my 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 my, my pointing finger can let you cover this whole screen but if you are like me now or like majority of the people you can just you know put it together and do your your sequence now the phone does add a huge amount of stability that's the problem i was having with this just doing it with a one and gun when you're trying to do us um when you're trying to do a, a b-roll sequence and you're holding it like this you notice it, it like it's it's light so the heavier the, the heavier something is the better it is to keep it non shaky but because it's so light when you're getting down like this or you have to ex especially when you extend your hand your hand just gets really look like like uh like really shaky now the motors on these aren't comparable to something like the weeble that's like a big what's this thing called again a gimbal because this gimbal is very strong and it, it, it holds it very good. You can tell the difference between the two. I am going to put in some samples on the stability of, of the both. Of the motors and how strong and if they make any sounds or whatnot. But if I had to recommend which one to anybody, which one to get, I will easily say get the DJI Osmo Mobile because well especially if you don't have anything if you do not have a lens a camera just get the just get this just get this it's very easy very easy especially when you don't have something you will find out find the best way to, to make this thing work that's the joy of it you know like you can't afford something like this you make use of what you have you know and lastly the interface so 
the interface of these two things now the interface between these two things are very like the 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 the, the, the product interface is very weird because i don't know why it does this on my usr but it it almost puts me into like a main a auto a auto mode like i can't control nothing like, like i usually have these things dialed to my um my iso my shutter speed is on this and i have some i forgot what i, I think it's iso in here as well but it just seems that i'm only able to control this thing this ev kind of automatic thing and i hate that so much i gotta find out a way like obviously i have to research a way that to see to change my settings manually and like i see the okay 130 of a second i see that right here but i can't do i can't touch it i can't do nothing with it as soon as i put the the gimbal on and, and the zion on it just it just puts it in like in, into this automatic mode which i really dislike now the, now secondly with the dji osmo mobile i have to have the phone connected to change any of the settings if i want to change any of these settings i have to grab my phone and connect it but the problem is If you have a screen, um, a screen, a case protector like mine's, and you try to put this in like this, it doesn't work because of that huge space. Well, it depends on the actual case. Like mine's, I'm using an auto box. Auto box I had the iPhone case, but it doesn't necessarily protect. It just makes it look cool. But I was like, I need this one to actually do something. So I have to take off my case just for me to put this on and then adjust settings. So let me show you what that would look like real quick. So now that I took the case off, you will have to plug in this uh, lightning to Osmo Mobile, whatever the accessory. So you put it in. And the phone, well, you have to obviously have the, the app downloaded already, but uh, let's go back and then I can touch with the settings so let's go into manual I can touch with the ISO the shutter speed at 60th of a second and see it's not too bad it actually looks very good and you can be very smooth with it but this is what happens a lot you see that you see this display in the in the in the, in the connector that's way too much play. When I had the, I think this is a 10X Max. It doesn't even sit on the back anymore. When I had the phone before this, the, the year before this, it actually used to fit very snug. I think this one, this, the DJI Osmo Mobile came out, uh, came out before the actual phone. So that's probably why I don't know if Apple changed anything with the connector size or the, the depth of the depth of it, but it makes it very, very hard for you to keep your hands con um, stable. Cause if your hands are not stable, you, you hold on. So now you have to keep this part, part here very still in the phone, in the Osmo Mobile, in, in, in like, in sequence. So you have to literally keep everything like that and everything like very together. If, if you have, if you even make a quick mistake of just going like this to the right or like to the left and end up just tilting this too much, you're going to get this message. So at the end of the day, I will still choose the DJI Osmo Mobile because to be frank, I can work with that little, the little lag or the little problem, the, the user interface problem it has. For 279 over this, psh, I'll learn quick. I'll learn exactly how to do this. I might even put some duct tape around my phone just so I can get it perfectly fine. I can, I can fix those flaws. You know, 
you work with what you got, you know? And to sum up this video, there's nothing wrong with these two things. I would recommend it. I would recommend this to someone who only has a phone and doesn't have a, a camera like this. Or if you have an EOS R and you have or something like a ten um a Canon ninety D or something like that with a nice little lens, or maybe even a kit lens, oh yeah, you can get one of these. You probably don't need a Zion Weber S, maybe the, the regular Weber because of the payload will be less. But I would definitely recommend these two items. Definitely. Now please like comment and subscribe and hit the bell so you know when new content is coming out but more and most importantly i'm gonna say this every single video i do most importantly comment i love to see when people comment if you comment i will respond right away right away you tell me anything that's wrong with my videos anything that's wrong with me hey the light is too too bright hey your audio is too too I don't know, flush or weak or high. Hey, you're breathing too hard. Control your breathing. Hey, you're speaking too fast because I do speak fast, but I tried to slow it down a lot for the YouTube and for the Americans, you know? If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the description. Cut that out. If you have any questions, leave, a, leave comments in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. This video should be dropping by today, which is Monday, September 14th. I drop videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. My name is Aaron, and I'll see you out.